Shall we pray? Our Father and our God in heaven, we thank you because you are the God that has the capacity to do all things. Oh, yes. There is nothing that is too hard for you. You have the power to save the vilest of sinners. You have the power to deliver the oppressed. You have the power to heal the sick. You have the power to set the captive free. Night, Lord, as we look briefly at your word, may we see your trustworthiness in Jesus' mighty name. You can be trusted. If we put our trust in you, there is nothing that will be too hard for you to do. Oh Lord, my God in heaven, I am praying, even as we read verses of the scripture tonight, let your word have its effect, the desired effect, expected effect upon the lives of your people in Jesus' name. Father, let your word minister to the needs in the lives of your people. Let the sinner be saved by the power in the word of God. Let your prayers be delivered. Let the backslider be restored. Father, Lord, I pray, let the captives be set free tonight by your power in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, I have no power of my own, but I'm standing to speak your word tonight. I ask that its effect be felt by every hearer in Jesus' mighty name. I suspend every contrary spirit. I bind and cast out of our midst every strange power that has been sent to hinder the performance of the work of God in our midst. Father, I thank you because I know you have done it already because I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, we are not really um, spending a long time tonight as we have promised before, you know, um, now. We want to look at a Psalm of David, Psalm 146. We are looking at God is trustworthy. God can be trusted with anything, with everything, with any condition, with every situation. You can trust God to meet you at every point of need. You can trust God to save you. You can trust God to heal you. You can trust God to deliver you. You can trust God to set you free. There is indeed nothing that is too hard for the Lord to do. Every time you come into the presence of the Lord, when you come to the house of God, endeavor to look away from man and let your trust, your confidence rest on the Lord alone, who has the power to do all things. By going through the 10 verses in this psalm, and the Lord, I believe, will use his word to do what pleases him tonight in your life and in my life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to rest assured that God is able, that God knows what you are experiencing. So I'm looking at the verses of scripture, see where you fall in, where your case falls in, and believe God for solution tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I read from verse 1 of Psalm 146. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Our soul ought to praise the Lord at all times, in all situations, in all circumstances. You can see here that the psalmist was addressing his soul. There are times we should talk to ourselves. This is self-talk. Talk to yourself. 
challenge your soul to praise the Lord? Are you feeling despondent because you have not received what you have been believing God for? Talk to your soul that your soul may praise the Lord. Let your soul not be despondent and lose trust and faith in the Lord because the Lord is trustworthy. God can do all things. Tonight, may your soul hear and begin to praise the name of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 2. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. It's only the living that can praise the Lord. The dead have ceased from their works. They cannot praise God anymore. So while you may praise the Lord with all your strength, with all your might, that the name of the Lord may be glorified. Because once you close your eyes in death, you will not be able to do that business that the Lord has committed into your hands, that you may praise the name of the Lord. Remember all things and for his pleasure they are and were created. All things, all things, that includes you, that includes me. So endeavor to praise the name of the Lord, to fulfill the ministry that God has graciously committed into your hands. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things for thy pleasure, they are and were created. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast is the reason why you have been created for the pleasure of God, to praise God, to worship God, to acknowledge his goodness, his faithfulness every day. Whatever situation in which you find yourself, if you don't feel like praising God, address your soul. Oh, my soul, praise the Lord. Oh, my soul, worship the Lord. Oh, my soul, glorify the name of the Lord. Challenge your soul, your soul to praise God because that is why you have been created. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I will praise you, oh, my Savior. I will praise you, oh, my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. We will praise you, O oh our Savior. We will praise you. Oh, I see you. We will praise you. Oh, I see you. We will praise you forever. Brother, sister, <coughs> be friends between a believer and an unbeliever is that for a believer, whether there is food on the table or not, 
whether there is money in the bank account or not, he is able to praise God, he is able to rejoice. But for the unbeliever, he praises his God, he is only rejoicing and glad when there is money in the pocket, when there is food on the table. If it is not happening that way, then their mouth is full of murmuring and complaining. But the difference is very clear, and we are not expected to, believe, to behave like them because the source of our joy is not things. The source of our joy is God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are being challenged tonight that our God is trustworthy and that he's worthy of our praise. Is worthy of our worship, is worthy of our adoration. I go back to the psalm we are reading, Psalm 146. I go now to verse 3. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Man cannot help you. I read verse 4 for a clearer understanding of verse 3. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. The man that you are putting your trust in, he has no power of his own. He cannot even help himself. When death comes calling, he will just resign and go and die because he cannot resist the power of death. So if, he, if you have put your trust in him and he has promised to help you in one way or the other, and then you go to look for him and you are told that he has died, what are you going to do? Man dies, God never dies. That's why we cannot put our trust in man, but we can put our trust in God. God lives forever. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't put your trust in your uncle, in your father, in your boss at work. They may be doing well as far as your eyes can see. You don't know what they are passing through in the secret. God is almighty. God is able. God can do all things just like we sang in that you know, song, God can do anything, anytime, anywhere. God can save, God can heal, God can cleanse, God can keep, God can preserve, God can protect, God can deliver, God can set the captives free. Wherever you fall in tonight, God is able and ready to meet you at that point of need in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. As the word of God is going forth, all you need to do is believe, only believe. All things are possible to him that believes. Just believe God, trust God, exercise confidence in his word, and he will meet you at that point of need that I know nothing about, that you have not told anybody, because the word of God is able to locate that problem and Take it out of wherever it is in your life, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I read verse 5 of Psalm 146. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Whereas there are people that are putting their trust in man, that is today and tomorrow is no more. The God of Jacob was and is, and is to come. Jesus Christ is the God of Israel. He is yesterday, and today, and forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He never dies. He never fails. He never disappoints. As many that trusted him before us, he proved himself faithful and trustworthy. And so we can also put our trust in him and expect the same results that those that trusted him before us experienced. He is the God that does not change. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. I like you to turn your Bibles with me to Malachi chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3. I read from verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That is the reason why we are not consumed, because God is unchanging. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. He's able to do today what he did yesterday. He's able to do, you know, today what he did thousands of years ago. He's the unchangeable changer. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So you are blessed when you have found him and have known him to be your God. There are people whose gods are in their pockets. They carry their gods around. And there are some, you know, cults in India where the members carry their gods in their pockets. There are people also in India that worship animals, like cow. There are people that worship snake. Those are their gods. But our God is not like that. Our God is not a thing. It's not an animal. It's not an image. Our God is the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's the God which made heaven and earth and sea and all therein is, which keepeth truth forever. Verse 7 of Psalm 146, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which gave it food to the hungry. Are you, are you hungry? God gives food to the hungry. The Lord loses the prisoners. Are you bound? God is setting you free tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Said, the Lord opened the, 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 opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raised them that are bowed down. The Lord loved the righteous. The Lord preserved the strangers. He relieved the fatherless and the widow. That the way of the wicked, he turned upside down. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So, as a child of God, you should rejoice tonight in the Lord, knowing that God has the power to do all things. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. God has given an express command, and I read it for us tonight. Either you turn to First Chronicles 16, 22, or Psalm 105, 15 is the same, you know, scripture. It says, saying, it's saying to sickness, it's saying to Satan, He's saying to affliction, he's saying to oppression, the powers that are behind them, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Sickness has been instructed not to touch you. From tonight, diseases have been instructed not to touch you. Afflictions have had it already. The demons have had it already. Poverty has had it not to touch you. All you need to do is believe God. Put your trust in him. If you have been trusting man, then these things can touch you. But if your trust is in the Lord, then there is no power that is permitted to touch you. Where they have touched you before, they are taking their leave now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. But then that is the word of encouragement that the Lord has brought to us tonight so that we can experience the blessedness that is meant for the children of God. The joy of the Lord is your strength tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever Amen. condition Amen. tonight, by the power in the spoken word of God, all those conditions now, they have been taken out, they have been chased out, and the power of God is having its full power working inside of you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I'd like us to go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Just believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. It's not so much about, you know, what we say, about what we do. It's just believing God. Believing God. God is able. God is If you can believe him tonight, not so much about how long we pray. We may pray for only two minutes and that God will do what he alone can do. We have said, put your eyes away from man. Don't, you know, look at the person that is speaking. Don't, don't even consider, you know, what he can do. He can do nothing. 
He has just the bread, you know, of life in him. He can fall down and die any moment. But the God that we are trusting, that, that we cannot see presently around us, but we know he's here. He will do that thing for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I just want you to open your mouth and say, God, do not pass me by tonight. Remember me tonight. Visit me tonight. Heal me tonight. Deliver me tonight. Set me free tonight. Release me tonight from every bondage. Call upon the name of the Lord. I pray and say, God, do not pass me by. God, do not pass me by. I am trusting you for healing. I'm trusting you for deliverance. I'm trusting you for promotion. I'm trusting you for preservation. I'm trusting you for breakthrough. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Oh Lord, for help. I'm trusting you that you make a way for me when I see me to be no way. Trust God tonight for something. 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 Trust Him for something. Trust Him for something. Men know what you are trusting Him for. Men should be for the Lord. Men should be for the Lord. What are you trusting Him for? God is able to do it. Are you trusting Him for healing? Are you trusting Him for restoration? Are you trusting Him for deliverance? Are you trusting Him for promotion? Are you trusting Him for salvation? God is able. Is able. Is able. Is more than able. Is able to do it. I want that there go God that we can ask this thing. we have prayed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the wonderful time we have had in your presence, albeit for a short time, but we know that there is nothing that is too hard for you to do. You are the same yesterday and today and forever. Yesterday you healed the sick, today you can heal the sick. Yesterday you delivered your praise. Today you can deliver your praise. Yesterday you prospered people that uh, were in penury. Today you can do the same. They are afflicted. You took care of them yesterday. You can do it again today. You are the God of yesterday and today and forever. Lord, you have heard what your children are trusting you for tonight. Lord, is anyone that was trusting you for sin, let, oh Lord, I pray that the power of salvation will come upon them tonight in Jesus' name. But anyone that is trusting you, oh God, for deliverance, may that one be delivered tonight in Jesus' name. Is there anyone, Lord, that is trusting you for promotion? Father, may they be promoted in Jesus' name. Is anyone yes. trusting you, Father, Lord, for deliverance? May they be delivered in Jesus' name. Anyone, yes. you, Father, visit them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Is there anyone, Lord, that is trusting you, Father, to be released from captivity, from Praising, oh Lord, let it be done tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for a long standing condition and situation. Father, I pray, let there be a change tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Let unchangeable change. Let situations begin to change now. Let them change now. Let situations change now. In the name of Jesus, let the weak become strong now. Let the poor become rich now. Let the children be promoted now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, as we have said, oh God, we have read from your word that you are trustworthy and we have come to put our trust in you. Father, I pray that your children will not be disappointed in Jesus' name. As they, Amen. Father, that have actually looked away from man having heard your word tonight and they have seen you as the only one that can help them. They have come to put their trust in you. Father, I pray that they will not be consumed in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Children will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we have express instruction to sickness, to pain, to affliction, to oppression, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Behold your anointed children. Behold prophets among them. Father, may the devil have no place in their lives anymore. May sickness have no place in their lives anymore. May oppression have no place in their lives anymore. Father, Lord, I pray. We know that everything have ears to hear. Mighty God, your word has gone forth. Therefore, Lord, I pray that the wall of protection we surround your children from this time forth, even forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 
tonight I'm praying and asking that Lord will minister unto them, O oh God. Touch their lives, O oh God. Touch their marriages, touch their children, touch their families, touch everything that concerns them in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Yes. We lay our hands upon to do shall prosper. We are trusting yes. you for prosperity, Lord. Father, let it be according to your word in Jesus' name. The word yes. says that everything that concerns us shall be made perfect. Lord, perfect your children, perfect your children, and everything that concerns them in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Father, because it is done. Because we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.